As I welcome you all, we're going to go first to NBC's Ralph Sanchez on the Israel-Gaza border. Ralph, I understand you got a look at a huge cache of weapons today. What are you seeing? Yeah, Alex, that's right. When Hamas terrorists burst through the Gaza border on Saturday, they were armed to the teeth, armed not just to kill Israeli civilians, but also to fight off Israeli reinforcements in those southern communities, to fight against tanks, to fight against helicopters. The Israeli military has been gathering weapons they have collected from slain Hamas fighters. They've been collecting them at a base in southern Israel. We visited that base earlier today, and I want you to take a look at what we saw. This is just a fraction of the weapons the Israeli military has recovered from Hamas fighters in the field. I want to just walk you through some of the items here. This is a thermobaric bomb. This is a weapon designed to create heat of up to 3,000 degrees instantaneously. And the Israeli military says Hamas terrorists use these to incinerate whole families inside of their houses. Now, the bulk of these weapons down here are rocket-propelled grenades. The Israeli military says it found around a thousand of them in the field. And this is a level of firepower designed not just for killing civilians, but for holding off Israeli reinforcements for hours to come. These are Kalashnikov assault rifles, the standard issue of Hamas forces. And you can see just an absolute arsenal of weapons. If my camera operator just points over here, these black charges are Claymore explosives. They were planted at the gates of Israeli communities. They were designed as booby traps to stop Israeli troops coming in. Critically, the Israeli military says nothing they see here suggests the direct involvement of Iran. These are the standard weapons you would expect from Hamas, and many of them are homemade inside Gaza. But it gives you a sense of the firepower Israel's military will be facing inside the Gaza Strip when that ground invasion begins. Now, Alex, that is the kind of firepower that Hamas forces will be deploying inside of Gaza, and they will be on home turf if Israel does move ahead, as we expect they will, with a full-on ground invasion. Not only are Hamas fighters heavily armed inside of Gaza, but they also have that elaborate network of tunnels underneath the Strip. It gives them the ability to pop up in different places to try to ambush Israeli forces. So the Israeli military studying those weapons, trying to see what clues they can learn. I thought it was interesting that they said nothing in that arsenal indicates the direct involvement of Iran. But it shows you that even under that very, very severe Israeli blockade that has been going on for years now, Hamas still finding material to produce weapons inside of the Gaza Strip. Alex. Can I offer you a profound thank you? That was incredibly educational to see the actual firepower being captured and that which Israeli soldiers will be facing. Thank you, Roth, for that.